Hello there then. We'll uh, start with a quick CAD mock-up of what you can do with this battery tester. This is um, this is a case that you could make for it, which would be uh, perhaps put on a key ring or something. The the tester is very good for uh, batteries that you find in smoke alarms and other household appliances. It's a very simple circuit to make. If you've got access to a 3D printer, you could make this as well. Uh, total cost probably about 20, 25 pence. And there it is. And now we move on from this to the demo and some build instructions. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my uh, battery tester, 9 volt battery tester, which I don't know whether you can zoom in so you can see that. There it is. And it's basically just three component, uh, four components. We've got, um, we've got a red LED, we've got a green LED, and we've got a Zener diode and a normal diode, and we've got the circuit diagram here. And I'll pop that up on the, on the video a little bit later on. Um, it's a really excellent circuit for figuring out how things like Zeno diodes work and how diodes and LEDs work. Just to quickly show you how this battery tester works. So I've got some 9 volt batteries here. And you just clag it on like that. And that's a fully healthy battery. So we've got... A, we've got um, both lights working there, both LEDs. This next one here just got a, just about got a red LED working, so that would be at about eight and a half volts. I'll show you how that works later. And this one is completely flat. So this type of circuit really excellent. This type of battery is used a lot in in things like smoke detectors, so on and so forth. And you could reduce this circuit, make it a lot smaller, really excellent, just very quickly testing a battery to make sure it's okay. A uh, 9 volt battery, usually terminal voltage, uh, anything below 8.5 and, and you really want to be thinking about getting rid of it. So this is the principle upon which it works. I've got a Zener diode hooked up here. And a Zener diode will have a black band around one end. That's the circuit symbol for a Zener diode there. And it's always connected in what's called reverse bias, which means the cathode, the black band, is always connected to the positive. This is a 5.1 volt, uh, volt zener diode. So what that means is it won't actually conduct any current until we raise the potential across it to 5.1 volts. And I'm going to show that on the power supply here. So as I raise the voltage, you can see the current there. I don't want to go too far or too fast because... And at about, ooh, nearly, at about, <laughs> at about 5.2, 5.1 volts, we get an enormous amount of current flowing through the zener. It's known as the avalanche effect. So once you raise the potential across the zener to 5.1 volts, it begins to conduct. And of course, eventually, when we get enough potential across our LEDs, they light as well. So what we can do, we can write 5.1 volts across the zener. I did have another standard diode here, oh there it is. This is a standard diode. This is connected the other way round, forward bias. I'm going to reduce the potential across it again. Usually most general purpose diodes will conduct at about 0.6 of a volt. Superb control. They don't call me the messy of electronics for nothing. Oh, I've only got it the wrong way around. <laughs> Oops. Cut. Cut. I got it the wrong way around. Sue me. Oh, there we go. You can see now that's actually so far above. If I left it like that, it would burn out, which would look great on video, but I'm not going to do it. So there you are. 0.6 of the volt for that diode. So we can write that in here. And you're going to get the same thing for both LEDs, except... The, the voltages will be higher when they're forward biased. Uh, just to save a bit of time, the green one is about 1.8 volts. And the red one's about 1.6 volts. The combined effect is that what we're going to do now, we're going to connect our battery tester here. The positive. And you'll see... You will see, oops, 
So as we raise this voltage here, you can see the voltage. You'll see the voltage at which time the red one lights. Don't want to go too quick. Come on. Just about at about 8.5, you just get a little bit of glow on the red one. And it's quite steady all the way up to about 9 volts. And you just see the red one, we're at 8.97, and then we go up to 9 volts, and the green one starts to come on. There you are. So we're both, both of them shining quite brightly. We've got about 9.4, 9.5 volts. A new 9 volt battery will have a terminal voltage of about 9.4 volts. So that would be fully charged with the red on, about 9 volts. With the red just glowing, about 8.5. At about 8.5, you should change it. And that, as they say, is that. And my objective cameraman, being objective, said that I should show this circuit diagram here. So you can see we've got a the Zena normal general purpose diode, LED, LED, all badly drawn, but you can see the voltages across each of them, and they total to about 9 volts, give or take. An LED will require about 5 milliamps to light. Quality?